Hi, I'm Matt Baker and I'm a Malaska Golf Certified Instructor. I'm based here in the UK. What I want to talk to you about on this one, which helps out, it didn't both just help out myself, but it's also helped out a lot of my clients, is from the M system and it's called M3 and it's how the body works and it's called the slap drill. And I use this one quite a lot myself and I do this everywhere. I can do this one at home in the kitchen when I'm making a, a, a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Uh, and it just helps me to organize my body correctly and give it the right feelings of how I use my shoulders, my chest. Uh, and also for me, it helps me to help good body motion with my hips and, and, my, and my legs. And it also helps me to organize my hands and arms on the right path as well. And that, that nasty word of early extension. So what I tend to do is I'll tend to just take my stance and get myself in a position where I put my left hands in front of me and just so they're hanging down in front and I'm clapping them together. And all I'm going to do from here is just swing my right arm back and I can feel my chest stretching as I do this and my shoulder blades contracting together. And I'm going to keep my left hand in the same place and I'm pushing my left uh, my right hip back with my right leg. And this helps me to just organize my body correctly. And from here, it can keep my spine angle correctly. So I'm staying in my tilts. I can feel my pressure going into my right heel and I'm starting to push into my left leg. Okay just helps me to really get the right feeling of staying down on the shot and so on. And what I'm gonna do from here then is I'm then gonna bring my right hand down to slap my left hand. And this again, this, this is where it helps me to organize the swing correctly. So I'm gonna swing back, I'm gonna pull down, I'm gonna slap into the back into my left hand. And one of the key things you notice here is how my right arm sits lower than my left arm. This is me lining up to the shaft and I can really feel pressure banging into my left hand here. And it's organized my body nicely and my hips are pushing away. And from here then what I can do is, is follow it up and feel then the reverse of what I did on the back swing. I can feel my chest stretching again and my shoulder blades contracting again and I can then follow up and through. It's a great drill to do if you're really struggling with getting the concept of body action. It will really help your game. And what I want to talk to you about today is the arm action loop. Now you'll find this in M2 and I use the M series every single day. It's a, it's a great system and, it, and it, it, it just does fantastic things for your golf swing. Now this is one of my favorite ones. Now this is one that I use quite regularly with a lot of my clients, uh, whether it be online or in person. And um, this is for the golfer that has a tendency to, to swing the club from outside to, to in and tend to come over the top as we call it. And it's a really great one, but they, they get the misconceptions wrong when they think they start talking about shallowing the club. Uh, and they think about shallowing the, the, the shaft, you've got to shallow the shaft down. That's wrong. Really what we want to be trying to work on is shallowing the arms, okay? The arms work on a different path on the way down than what they went up on. And I like to relate it to tennis, okay? Because it's, it's one of my favorite sports at school, but you can use baseball as, as another, another allergy that you can use as well. But when you play these racket sports, what tends to happen is, is when you swing the, the racket back, the racket always starts high and your hands and arms, what happens there is it loops in and under. The racket goes up to under and my hands work in a slight loop, okay? And this actually helps me to shallow the, the shaft down or the club down on the right path. It shallows the path correctly. So tennis is a great way of feeling that. So when I swing the racket back, racket starts high, comes in and under, and my hands work in a sort of a, a loopy action. And if I did that with a golf club in my hands and try to recreate the same thing, you can see exactly the same thing here happens. I swing the racket back, it goes up, and my arms work in a, in a loop. So my hands go back on one path, but then they shallow it down and come through on another path. And this will help me to shallow the club down into the, into the ball. It's a great feeling to, to create. And when you feel that and you feel confident with that, I just try to get the client or myself just to sort of feel the hands action working in this loop action, okay? You can over exaggerate to start with and then after time, you can then bring that back just so it feels like it's a small loop. And you'll get, a, you'll get it almost straight away. So just once you feel comfortable, loop back and through and you'll get a lovely golf shot and you'll strike the ball perfectly every single time because you're swinging it on the right plane. So this really helps a lot of golfers. And um, what I want to talk to you about today is it's from the M series and it's called, it's from M1 and it's called Pivot, okay? And um, I do this drill. This is a game changer for me. This is my aha moment for me, okay? And this was one where I just basically like to practice this every time I go out on the golf course. So before I go and play, I just do this little exercise. And, and the exercise is where you're just swinging freely with your, with your right hand on your right arm. Okay, and then what I tend to do here is then just blend in. As soon as the club's coming down, I just blend in, pushing the left hip backwards 
um, using my left leg, just pushing it back, just as I time the club head down and through. And this does a, it's a multifaceted thing for me. It does my right hand correctly, teaches me to use my levers correctly, uh, but it just times up the, uh, the, the pivot action of my left hip. So I can push the left hip backwards in that straight line. Uh, I love the straight line forces thing. So pushing that left hip back really helps me just to, just to coordinate and time it all up through. So I really love doing this. And I'll just hit shots doing this generally when I'm practicing. I'll just take hold of the, I only tend to use a, a pitching wedge. I don't tend to go too much or too hard. Um, and, and I'll generally just hold down the handle. You can see I'm holding down the grip quite a bit here. And I just practice swinging back, swinging through. I just I like the feeling of it and it just helps me just to coordinate that where the bottom of the swing is and it just helps me to coordinate my release correctly so just back and through I just like that feeling of of just pushing that back and it really helps me to open up the swing so just doing it from you at this angle here I just like that feeling of swing the club head back and then just as I come through I just push that left hip back just as the club head's coming down and through it just coordinates up beautifully and I really urge you to go and try this one because it it just coordinates everything up beautifully when you're playing. So I just swing back and swing through and just swing it towards the target. And because my right hand's working correctly, um, it means that I hit the ball generally pretty straight. And if I get a bit fancy with it and I feel I can do it quite well, I'll start playing with trajectory as well. I'll, I'll keep the angle in my right hand to hit it lower or I'll add a bit more to hit it higher. It's just a, it really trains a lot of things for me and this is why I tend to do it every time I go out and practice. So I just tend to swing back and swing through and I'll hit shots like that all day long and it then can blend up into my full swing. So I really urge you to go and try and do this one.